Mm-hmm. Never crossed my mind that, yo, he's taking out gods, like mythical gods, what we know as. And someone said, man, I can't wait for them for, I can't wait for Kratos to take on Egyptian gods. And I was like, whoa, oh. whoa, oh. that's been, it's been that one. And, uh, the Mayan culture has been thrown around. As yeah. Dogs. I figured. I never thought of it, but as no, soon as he no, said no. it, my eyes lit the fuck up. I was like, oh, "Yo, him about to go fight Anub- Ra and Anubis and all them." Yeah, Woo! so they said they said Egyptian, Mayan, and Chinese were gonna be like they said the three possible ones. Like thumbs up, with your, volume. Thumbs up with your mic. You you pitch down. Yeah. Uh, yeah can you hear me? Like, yeah, hear you. You, you sound like you sound real real. Screwed. Screwed. He's not screwed and shot. <laughs> really? Yeah. You Still? Sound, there's Egyptian gods and you like, shit. You sound like that. <laughs> you sound like that. You sound just do like I that. still sound like that? Yes, you, you do. do. I, I can't even tell y'all why, man. Damn. Yeah, that's, I've never even seen that problem. Yeah. I don't understand. That's a weird one. That's a new one. That could happen. What, what mic are you using, Will? The same mic I've been using this whole time. Yo, he sounds mics. screwed and shocked. It's I so... ain't changed mics, nothing. Hey, maybe nothing's wrong with your mic. Maybe you t- like talk like that now. <laughs> That'd be crazy. <laughs> My text like is finally Watts, just kicked bro. in. <laughs> say, Will, say switch the house. Switch <laughs> I was house. about to say. <laughs> <laughs> sound like Slip Thug for show. <laughs> All right. Hold on. Let's do it. I don't know why it's doing that. I don't know why. What the? Got the what? slim Houston filter on. That's hilarious. <laughs> so you still off so you, you, you using your Yeti, huh? I'm use bro. I'm using my Yeti. I, I don't know. I don't Did you know try unplugging it and plugging it back in? Bro, I said that a shot. Man, that's weird. Can y'all hear me? Yeah. Yeah, I can hear you. Say, say it again. Yeah. Yeah. Can you hear me? No, you sound better there. I mean, you sound yeah, I, better. you sound a lot more echoey. It's not like you're using another mic. What mic are you using now? I have no idea what mic this thing is connected to now. Hmm. Hmm. This is... Oh, my, my webcam. Wow. Okay. You know, my webcam had a mic. Yeah, it's pretty. I mean, it's 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 real echoey, but we can, for sure, it for sure sounds better. Uh, well, at least you don't sound screwed and shocked, at least. Try going to that other mic again, and we'll give it a shot, and then we'll go. Okay, does it still sound like that? No, you're back. I don't know what happened. But you were for sure... The funny part is I was I, I actually recorded that, so we actually had that. <laughs> <laughs> Send it to him later so he knows. Ladies and gentlemen, we are the Arcade Tokens. I go by the name of Cleo Thomas, aka Mr. Slick Living. Patrick Cloud. And I'm the Anomaly Will Farrow. Six o'clock this morning, I'm up. And I see a tweet go out from the one and only Ed Boone, who, of course, is the creator of the Mortal Kombat franchise. He announces a brand new combat pack. So if you're Mortal Kombat fans, you know that means new characters. Uh, so far, when it came to DLC characters, we've got some surprises like... Uh, Terminator, like RoboCop, uh, Shang Tsung, the Joker, Sindel showed up, Shiva showed up. Um, great list, great roster. But there's been some characters that everyone has been, you know, really clamoring for and like really trying to get not only NetherRealm Studios, but Warner Brothers, WB Games, and Ed Boon to bring back or just add to the roster as a random, because let's think about it. The Joker in a Mortal Kombat game, we didn't really need that, but they no, keep was, giving it to us. He was good in Injustice too. He should have just stayed in oh, Injustice too. I have seen this trailer already, so I'm really excited to see Pat and Will and my brother's reaction to this. Okay. And uh, by all means, let's get into the new combat pack that's coming from Mortal Kombat. Go ahead, Will. Well, before we get into there, Joker does make perfect sense, because you do remember DC versus Mortal Kombat. And he destroyed the whole world. That's cool. Yeah, but, 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 that's almost redcon. That's like no one. No, I, I like the game. I'm not checking for him no more in a in a fighting game. 
What was the general consensus of that? Like, how did people feel about this last round of DLC between Joker, RoboCop? I didn't really hear anything. Terminator, were there any, like, standouts? Or are there people that, people, like, I characters? Feel, that I feel protect? like people people appreciated the whole Terminator versus RoboCop thing. They finally appreciated yeah. that we can actually match them up because we always hear about it over the years. I feel like they really appreciated that. Uh, Joker, obviously, we've seen him a thousand times now. I don't think they liked his design, per se, and... Uh, 11 compared to what he looks like in Injustice oh, yeah. and everywhere else. His, his design was a little different, so that's that's the only two things I remember hearing about. Could it also be because they, like, you know, like normally when they drop these DLCs, they'll be like packs, like kind of like how they just did the Halloween pack for Mortal Kombat 11 with three people, but with these, they split them up, like Spawn, Joker, Terminator, Robocop, so could that have had an effect? Because like how Pat said, I didn't really hear nothing Actually, after we did the React video and we saw the like first ones like with Night Wolf and Sendale, I didn't even know Shiva was a DLC. Yeah. Yeah. I listen, I, I think that no matter what they have a roster of characters that they haven't even touched yet. So yeah. in a brand new game, MK eleven is continuing. I'm pretty sure it's gonna cross over into next gen consoles. We won't have a Mortal Kombat twelve for some years in the future. So keep just dropping the characters that we're either, you know, requesting or uh you know surprise us uh you know with the spawn addition to this game that threw my that blew my mind i did not ever expect it to see spawn make a return uh you know once again in a fighting game the last time we saw him was uh soul caliber yep. that was the last time we saw spawn in a fighting game but for him to make his way over to, to Mortal Kombat was really special and that's why with this this trailer man I, i'm i think you guys are in for a surprise with this i'm excited right, let's get it let's do it Marcus people. I want to go. Rain? Oh. Finally. Nightmare. Terminator gonna be in it. Did you think Sylvester Stallone was not gonna do it? It's like ugh, all these. Ugh, I'm sick of these. Uh, <laughs> I, knew it, I knew it. I knew it. I'm I don't like this. Can I ask this one question? Can I ask this one question? Go for it. Would have been better if it had been Judge Dredd. I saw yes. comments requesting that, and uh, I know I don't think so. I don't. I, I feel like I just think that we're seeing all these rollouts that make sense, but they're not dope. Like, yes, I see why Minecraft was added to Smash Bros because it's popularity. It's not dope, though. You know, like, I don't. I, Rambo, he just shoots people. He, that's that's a whole like, thing. Rambo's a regular ass person. Like, let's not get this twisted. Rambo, a regular man with a, 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 a with a minigun. Hey, he's man. a warrior, he's a, though. He's a warrior. He's a warrior. That, that wow. red bandana got mythical powers that have kept him alive. Terminator, Robocop, actual, you know, robots, actual things that can actually go up against this shit. Everyone in Mortal Kombat on some mystical power type shit. This man Rambo's no, in a fucking not. forest. So, so you gonna pass by Striker like that? We just, we just gonna Striker's not here. Striker like Striker's not here. Ass. Can you, can you, right can you uh, rewind can you it back so we can see all three of the characters, the DLC pack? Can you rewind it just a little bit? Yeah, let me uh, Look, bro, they put Sylvester Stallone's Rambo 
in Mortal Kombat. It's happening. There's like that, bro. We had Freddy, we had Jason, you had Leatherface. Like, bro, they already have been leaning that way for quite some time. Well, this, this I saw this coming. Like after Alien, Ver, El Predator, and all of them in, in here too, it makes sense. But we are literally watching Mortal Kombat literally go Hollywood, <laughs> <laughs> like literally going Hollywood. And here's what here's my problem with it. I feel like it's. It's cool for like cameos, but what it's doing is it's lowering the value of their characters, you know? Mm -hmm. Because now if you see Rambo throwing equal hands with Liu Kang, it's like, what are you talking about? Like Liu Kang was like fighting Shao Kahn and all these crazy people before that. He is the champion of the earth realm. That's what I'm saying, now he's struggling with, with, with a bow and arrow from Rambo, just because we wanted the camo cameo, is just like, I don't know if I could really get with that because it's it's weird. That and that's, to be why, fair. that's why I don't like how Injustice is spreading uh, its cameos too, because it's like, now these are like top IPs you're talking about. Now you have Superman and Batman fighting Ninja Turtles. But, and it's like, that's dope because you like Ninja Turtles, but it's like, huh? <laughs> but that's in the comic lore, though, uh, Pat. Like, we've had the Teenage yeah, Mutant Ninja that's Turtles. That's what I'm There's Batman. some connection. Yeah, there's connection there. But, like, this to every, one... To every character that was uh, attached to Injustice, there was some type of connection? That, no, I'm not saying that. No, not Raiden and Sub-Zero, like... I mean, no, you could go besides, back to DC. Yeah, besides yeah. DC versus, yeah, DC Mortal versus Kombat. Mortal Kombat. That, that, yeah, that, that didn't that exist. Time. But, yeah, yeah so when it comes to this side, when it comes to Mortal Kombat, what they're doing, there is no connection to Robocop. There is no, no connection no. to Terminator. There's no connection to Jason. It's all licensing. No, no, no. It's all licensing. That, that, yeah. That's what I want to chalk it up to. I just really want to chalk it up to the fact that, look, these, these characters are iconic and legendary in their own rights in certain forms of media. Yeah. I think that the, the business and, the, and our industry is understanding the level of, of power video games have. So they're like, yo, let's start just shoving them in there. Like, the tra- like we, all, we all went and saw the, the recent Transformers film. They brought back Arnold Schwarzenegger for that. Did that do anything for us at all? Right. No. And and I get Pat's uh, you know uh, argument as far as the he kind of feels that it's decrediting some of these iconic characters, but I feel that the, this doesn't take away from the Mortal Kombat lore and the characters that we love for Mortal Kombat anyway. This is just a cool addition to be like, oh shit, like this is in here, that's cool. But I'm when I get into Mortal Kombat 12, I'm not gonna be the guy like, well, is Terminator coming back? Is Rambo coming back? Is Spawn right. coming back? I'm not. I'm good off that because I love Mortal Kombat for the characters who are original to that story. I and I just, I, just, I need to go ahead and say this real quick. I am so glad that Rain is back. Rain is one of my favorite characters from the from the first three, the trilogy route. He is the yeah. he's my favorite. He's my favorite all the time. I don't hey, understand why he wasn't the coolest one in this in this collection. Right, <laughs> he was not. He, he, no, not. Uh, he is. He no like again. Hey, listen. Ermac People pause wanted Molina since the day this game came out. But yeah. that's that's the thing that I wanted to get on on what Pat said. That's what I feel like how he said it brought down uh, their integrity for their Mortal Kombat characters because everyone was pushing for Molina and that's who just should have been the forefront in right. pushing this new DLC out because one, that's who we wanted and two, she's a part of the story. So it was yeah. like, we've all thought she would, you know, spoiler alert, if you haven't beaten the game, we all thought she was dead. And so to see her back alive, yeah. that is just like, that should have been the rollout, even, you know, hitting to maybe another like thing, like how they did Aftermath, another story coming out for 11. And then the second thing though, too, another thing that makes me like semi okay with this is just how we talked about with Resident Evil. We don't think about what go on outside of everything else, except the main story we focus on. Like kind of like with Resident Evil 8, the village, we seen like the different perspective of what happens when the t-virus took everything over we keep forgetting what this is called mortal combat Liu kang jazz i mean uh jacks sonya blade three normal ass people jacks just had metal arms sonya blade is rambo is literally the female rambo so it makes sense to start bringing these folks in because if you want to tie mortal combat in with real life maybe Rambo is in this universe. Same thing with RoboCop in Detroit, just like with Stryker. So yeah, I, I can see it. It's believable, but is it 
is it dope? Like we were about yeah. to see Melina versus Rain. That's yeah. what I wanted. And then Rainbo Rambo came out and what? Either shot both of them or immediately failed and was killed. Those are the <laughs> only two options of after what, what happened after it went to black. Like, I, like Rambo <laughs> it only makes sense because it's like, oh yeah, Rambo. But it's like those cameos, like with even even with comics, like there were cameos that were dope and there were cameos that were like comical, you know, like Batman and Scooby-Doo had a feature together, you know, and it was comical, but it's not like, I'm not trying to see Batman versus Scooby-Doo in a serious setting, you know, so it, I, I just, I just feel like- People out there campaigning for Shaggy, they, they want Shaggy. About to say, Shaggy, Shaggy had a good run. Shaggy had a good run in Mortal Kombat. I'm just letting you know, it was never gonna happen. But, they, but it was, yeah, but we, were, we remember that. That was absolutely that hilarious. Be, that would have made everything Pat just said even more credible. I was so horrified if that happened. Yeah. Nigga, imagine. Remember, like, like Soul Calibur, they did it perfectly. When they had Soul Calibur, they had Link, Heihachi, and Spawn all come in. And not only not only were those dope crossovers, it was believable. Yeah, like, they could win. Like Link in there would be like, yeah, he would for sure hold his own. Same with he Heihachi and Spawn. So... I just feel like, and you can even go next time with it, with it, Pat. You can even go next time with 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 uh, Darth Vader, Yoda, uh, Yoda. Star Killer. You know right. what I mean? Like but, they could they could match up with Soul Calibur characters for sure. They can go toe to toe. So, but again, that that is also true. But again, Sonya Blade is in this game as huh? well as Jax. So the whole toe for toe thing, like. We can throw that out the window because we like, are we really thinking a white girl from Southern California is beating up Shao Kahn? Hell no. Not Johnny Cage did. <laughs> but Johnny yeah, Cage. But they, go ahead. Go ahead. Johnny go ahead. Cage's thing is like you know they they gave his, they gave the Johnny Cage thing like more credibility in the yeah. most recent games. Like they're making it seem like he's oh he's always been the one yeah. in some grand scheme. They strapped and, a rocket. They strapped a rocket to him and was like he's he's the best. Exactly. Go ahead. Right. But to Pat's so, point, though, I think they're yeah. they're pushing them a little too harder than they should their ML their uh, MK characters. Like he should have been in the back, Melina could have been in the front, or even Rain. Like that is what I would. That is a about. Hollywood actor. He is getting the his front Sylvester Stallone. Time stop I mean, this. Listen. He ain't even bro. It's not even like he didn't even have to go in and get three D facially scanned. Bro, he just had to sign off on his voice, and they made it. He's still a Hollywood actor. You put him front and center. That is Sylvester goddamn Stallone. That was weird do to have him behind Melina. <laughs> yeah. But if you go do Sylvester Stallone, you should have done Demolition Man. Fuck. Oh, Fuck it. Steve, Steve, okay. is goal, Steve is the goal next, next, uh, next winner. Fuck it. Okay, so that's my thing. I just want to, like, let's try to have this discussion. Let's try to talk about this really quick. Give me Steve I'm goal. so happy that, let me tell you why I'm happy to see Rambo. Because I didn't want that other guy. I didn't want that evil dead guy. Ash something, oh, with whatever. The, with the uh, chainsaw I didn't man? want him. Remember, that was the rumor. It yeah. was supposed to be that guy premiering. I mean, this because of horror. Because of horror. Yeah, because so of I'm okay horror, with Rambo, not that guy. I didn't want, because I don't know that guy. He looks corny. That looked corny to me. I don't so think Ash got the fact we get Rambo now, where does this open us up to potentially? Blade. I don't know. I don't know. Blade. I'm kind of flipped. Blade. I'm kind of flipped. I don't know. Will's right. There are hella normal people in this. this yes. there, there are yes. gods, but there's they are kind of normal people. Like I, I don't know. I would like to see Bruce Bruce Lee in here. That would be tight. Holy <laughs> shit. Look, man, Bruce John McClain from Die Hard is next. Oh. Not bad. Could he fight? Could he fight though? I don't know, but I need a Bruce Willis character in here now. I need no. one. I'm kind of down though. Jet Li. Jet, Jet Li unleashed. Yep. I will say that. I will say also this. I don't. I. I really need to find out what happened to Rain's uh, hand there. My man out there with the yeah. trident. With the trident right now. But, you, but yeah, that's new, right? Yeah, he never had it before. He actually. So I'm kind of excited to that's kind of figure cool. out what happened. Yo, Samuel uh, uh, Wesley Snipes, though, like, from speaking of Demolition Man, real shit, Simon Phoenix would be dope in this game. Because, like, he was programmed to fight and shoot. So, like, he is kind of like an OP-ass character. And, like, with his personality, I'd love to see him fight Johnny Cage. You guys said Blade, too? Yeah, Blade would be dope. I know that's Marvel and stuff like yeah. that. Blade would be crazy in this. Yeah. There was rumors about uh, Pennywise supposed to be involved in that. Thank God that didn't happen. Hey, hear me out. Sekiro. Stop it. I'd be down. That would work. Damn well, he would. That would work. Would hold his own with all oh, of yeah. you. Oh, yeah. I hate that. Would. That would work. That would work. 
They doing their thing, bro. I'm sorry. Mortal Kombat is doing so, their thing. So, like, it's, so, I just picked up the sticks again last week, and I, remember, I just, I do love the, you know, this game so much. It's, it definitely holds a special place in my heart. But seeing it throughout the years, me and Pat were talking about it earlier, just continue to hold its own and have a mantle as one of the premier fighting games, period. Yeah. It's hard to compete with this game, bro. Street Fighter do, does its thing in its own way, but... They can't do this. It ain't they got can't no do story. it like this, bro. Tek, it ain't got Tek, no Tek, story. Tekken did That's try it, though. I will say, Tekken tried with good old Negan from, from The Walking Dead. He did end they up tried in Tekken. It. They tried the, the special guest. You're right. If that's the only other other uh, franchise that I've seen that's that tried. Made that, world. that made sense in that world. They could never put RoboCop in, though. Nah. No, nah. they could. Oh, well, no, they have, they've had robots. They've they had Jack, they had Jack yeah. 5 and stuff like that. Oh, yeah. That would have been yeah, yeah. dope. Like, Especially all of those like, yeah. old Jacks went and ended up being him. That'd be kind yeah. of cool. They can make that. They hey, can we run it back? <laughs> yeah, for yeah, sure. Run we run it back. We run yeah. out there. We'll try that. Let's go ahead and I love Rain's run. outfit, though. Rain's Rain. outfit. Crazy. Crazy. Prince yeah. of Adenia is back, baby. Like, he's a prince. He's a whole Ermac at, bro. Stop playing, man. Ermac, Ermac ain't shit. shit. Ermac's a creation. He man, Ermac will sock rain out. You better stop playing. Yeah. If his teleport... Oh, but, yo, his teleport kick is in it because Shang Tsung has it. Oh, yeah. He won't have it back. He won't have all of it. I like how they make him look more Asian than this, too. Oh. This nigga Rambo tried to catch Melina with a net. With a net. Like a shit a hog. <laughs> and still came back out. Like. I'm your worst nightmare. ABS! I'd be I got damned bullets. if killed them too. Rocky and Injustice. I got bullets. <laughs> Rocky and Injustice too. Rocky won the one that got yep. beat up. Come on, I'm gonna win. Oh shit. Come on, Superman. But now I'm, I'm more interested too. <laughs> I'm more, I'm more no. interested now because Melina just killed a, a, a Tarkanian and that's her husband's people. So it's gonna be interesting to see like why did she just kill him? Bro, Melina's always been gunning for her own, like, end goal throughout these stories, bro. She just want to rule everything any damn way. She's willing to kill whoever. Baraka don't even rock with her. I know. They I mean, don't we, like her because she a clone. Yeah, she no, but we don't. But remember in the story, she ruled Outworld. Like, they uh -huh. dethroned her, but we don't know exactly how she got dethroned. So I'm just like, I'm curious enough because they were with her before his fall. That's why old boy killed off Baraka's people. Yeah, ten. I mean, in in ten, I feel like I think the board, the board pretty much did that whole kiss of death thing to Melina and had all those bugs literally eat it from the inside out. That happened in ten, and then obviously she's back in eleven. But again, she's this creation from Shang Tsung. Like she's not, she really doesn't have any personality. She's literally spliced together. So who knows what she be thinking? You know, it's really interesting. This is actually the first time, and you know, maybe it's because I haven't played in, uh, I didn't play ten like that, but. This is the first time I've seen them cover up one of the main uh, ninja girls, you know? Like, Melina is usually, like, bow, blah, blah, with the mask, you know? But oh, they, yeah, they yeah. like, they covered her up, you know, gave her, like, a, a you know, she's just, it's, it's all about her just being a ninja now, which is yeah. pretty dope. Yeah. Pretty fly. Yeah, I think that's dope. I like how they did that. I do like how they changed uh, Jade's two kind of like separate outfits, the evil version and the uh, good version. Because I didn't even know that was Jade until I started playing the game. Same thing with Katana, too. Yeah. Hey, Rambo's the biggest thought in this picture. He is. <laughs> Man, I'm interested in Rain, though. I'm, I'm interested to see this. I don't know why we have Have they made like 
a, a, a Mortal Kombat that's based off of like the lore of like where Rain and Ermac or them stem from. I know they've done it with like uh, Sub Zero and Scorpion, but I would love to see like a, a more in depth story of their stuff, like the Lin Kuei and all of them, and the, even stuff like how Cyrax and them became started making each other and stuff. The closest thing we got was Mortal Kombat Deception on the PS2, where you went to every single realm. Uh, you played this dude named Shuj- Shujinko, which I don't think I do remember him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah the old guy. Play- uh, yeah, the old guy. But you play with him Wait, as a kid. He yeah. starts off young. Yeah, he starts out young. Him. So yes, yeah, so you run around all the different realms and you talk to all the different characters. So you learn a little bit more about who they are and stuff like that. Which one is that? that? Uh, Deception for the Deception. PS2, or for the that was PS2. A good one. It was. Yeah, it was, that was pretty a really good. good. Uh, yeah. okay. I don't know yeah. why they didn't bring uh, him back. People didn't like it. Yeah, people really didn't like him. People really didn't mess with him. Really. I, it wasn't a good look to have that one though, because he he had everyone's moves, right? He, had he was able Scorpion. to, yeah. Yeah, yeah, he had everybody's moves. It was like, okay. I thought that was dope. I thought that I was, was dope. Like, this is too much. And his story yeah. process was dope, too. Like, Because um, yeah. it showed you like how he gets old and stuff. And so I was like, yeah. but you know. Yeah, the, 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 they just retconned it all with Armageddon. Killed everybody off. And then we started over with Mortal Kombat 9. Right. Do we get a date for this release? Exactly. Uh, uh, November 17th, I believe. Let me go ahead and go a little bit further in. Oh, for, for Rambo? No, for for yeah, for everything. Well, it says it at the end. Is this a pack? Mortal yeah. Kombat 11 so, Ultimate. So this this is coming to the PS5 and the Xbox uh, Series X as well. It says it right. Uh, it says it at the end. Hold on, one more time. So what's, what's Ultimate? Right there. What's Ultimate then? Oh, I guess it's free everything. upgrades for the PS5 and Xbox Series X. That's what I'm talking about. You mean? take care of your loyal fans. You take care of your customers. If you already got the game for the previous generation consoles, don't worry about it. We're just going to upgrade you when you get that PS5 or right. Xbox Series X. I love it. Nice. Yeah. How did, okay. So just sign, if you just sign in, you just have... Oh, they got a sign-in thing going. Yeah. So if you yeah. it, so I just want to confirm this. what this is. So upgrades available. So if you already have it, they're probably going to give it to you at a lower rate, I believe. Because if, if you buy Mortal Kombat 11 Ultimate, right? The one that they're showing right here. Then you get it already for the next generation. But if you already have Mortal Kombat 11 now, then I think you still would have to pay something. Probably something cheaper than, than buying it again. But upgrade available Oh, yeah, because for- it does say upgrades right. available for current MLK 11 owners and new buyers on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One starting Start. November 7th. That's what I'm saying. So it might be still a separate price for that. But if you buy this one right here, this Mortal Kombat 11 Ultimate up front outright, then you then you can play it off both both generations. Yo, the fact that they added cross-play in, I didn't notice that the yeah. first time. Cross-play yeah. cross-play. That- yeah. So, so the fact, yo, if someone plays on PC, if someone plays on Xbox, and you on PlayStation, oh, boom, you can all fight each other now like that. Yeah. Significantly reduce load times. I'm Which in. I don't need it to be any more enhanced visually, though. Like, that Shang Tsung fatality is top three of all times. It's yeah. gruesome. It's I hate that. Don't need to see uh, Cleo cutting my head off with Sub-Zero in 4K. I don't I, I'm cool. I don't need to see you freeze my head in. Yeah. And busting it wide open. Yeah. But there it is, man. We got it. We got brand new characters. Melina, uh, you know, the long championed character to return finally gets her due her date. Uh Rain, of course, making his triumphant return as the Prince of Adenia. And John goddamn Rambo. Oh. How long is Regular how long Degular is Rambo. Rambo. What is he, Pat? He's meat and potatoes. <laughs> meat and potatoes. And I'm coming I'm to give meat and potatoes to everybody. I'm did, ready. Um, did, <laughs> When did Melina die? Like how long ago? Ten. It, last it, game. Last game. Last game. So, uh, what it is? What's the big dude with the like, kind of like the tribal uh, chief Co- thing? Uh, Kodo Khan. Kodo Khan. Kodo Khan dethroned her, and then yeah. that's how he got his position. Yeah. Because okay. she took over after Shao Khan after uh uh Shao Khan died. Yeah. Because that's his daughter. Yeah. So. So yeah. Hey. we don't know how she died. We just know that they like they dethroned her. So we didn't know what happened. You know who the next DLC should be if they were smart? Who? Your boy, Chuck Norris. The streets would go crazy. They, Walker, they would, the the fucking theme movie. internet culture would Walker, lose their Walker, Texas Ranger for MK11. Please. Walker, Texas Ranger and the skin when he fought Bruce Lee. And that would be a seamless transition into Bruce Bruce. I first saw a comment online that said you might as well just go ahead and give Jean-Claude Van Damme his due and just make no. that as a skin for
for Johnny Cage, the blood sport Jean Claude okay. Van Damme. Yeah, okay. He's making skin. a skin for Johnny Cage. I was like, I like that. Y'all go, give me y'all Bolo. Go stop. Y'all gonna stop disrespecting John Claude Van Damme. I'm a John Claude Van Damme fan. Right. Blood Sports, you, one of my movies. You yeah. give that man his own character in Mortal Kombat. Y'all stop. First mm. of all, John it, Claude, you are talking about him like he's Steven Seagal, and I ain't gonna have it. No, nah, right. he's not that bad, but he's still pretty. He's not up there with Rambo and 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 Chuck, because you know, no, no, not at all. If if I feel like if John Claude would be after Bruce Lee, Jet Lee, definitely Jackie Chan, Chuck Norris, uh, I would low key play Jason Statham first. <laughs> before, <laughs> before. Bloodsport, John Claude will whoop the transporters' ass. Okay? You think so? Hell yeah. yeah. He ain't whipping Hell Chuck Taylor's yeah. ass though. He ain't whipping Crank's ass though. Chuck Taylor's giving that work. That would that be, a hilarious, yo, yo, that'd be a hilarious yo, character tripping. in here. You tripping. Oh, that'd be dope. No, that'd be dope in here. Oh, my God. That'd be He's hilarious. talking about crank. Get yeah. out of here, you bro. Know, you have three minutes to live. What do you do? Yeah. And I think it just, that'd be his smell. Oh, hell yeah. That'd be dope. <laughs> <laughs> I'd play that. <laughs> All right, man. I want to thank you guys for tuning in uh, to Token Reacts, of course. Uh, we will see you next time with more reaction videos. Uh, we have the RK tokens. I go by the name of Cleo Thomas, a.k.a. Mr. Slick Living. Patrick Cloud. I am the anomaly Will Farrow. Shout out to the tech guy. And we will catch you next time.